No, listen, Charlie. I told you that we were gonna film. No, you knew I was gonna film. Why do you always gotta do this? I can't just always take you the part. I've got things I need to do as well. This isn't just all about Charlie. I gotta film anyway. Hey guys, what's up? Just kidding. That was just something Charlie and I worked on really quick. That was so funny, Charlie. Good boy. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys right now. I'm having a super chill day. I don't usually do this vlogging thing. Let me put you guys back on a tripod. Charlie kept bugging me to film that scene. This is the legend. Are you a legend? How would you like it if I always talked to you like this? I love you, Charlie. Wouldn't this be annoying? <laughs> okay, chill, chill. Oh, check out my wiener, guys. Okay, my neighbors, by the way, are moving in right now. Not a good first impression. This is a weird angle. I've never shot like this. Just add a pop of color. This is a terrible angle. Note to self and note to anybody out there that wants to be a YouTuber and film, never film from below your chin. One, you'll look like a fat ass because your double chin is always like, hey guys, what's up? Neighbors. My neighbors are out. I got new neighbors and they're the type that like moves in with their door open. Like everything is already moved in, but they'll like hang photos with the door open. Thanks for listening. You'll notice right here, this is a pancake box. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out so it I make enough money to pay for that thing. <laughs> Not even lie. They may be sitting there thinking, Dan, what are we watching here? A few videos ago, I did this service where I got an invisible girlfriend, which was supposed to come with a handwritten letter from my girlfriend. I reached out to Jessica Pumpernickel, who was my girlfriend, and I said, Jessica, when am I getting that handwritten letter? She said, I've got no idea what you're talking about, babe. So it really made me question, why the hell I got this in the mail? Explain, Jessica. This right here, I'm expecting to be the handwritten letter from Jessica. If it's not, then, then you'll probably never see this video, to be honest. But there's a huge mistake that I noticed with this service. Now, when I checked the area code of her phone number, it was showing up as New Brunswick, Canada. It's like the east coast of Canada. Now, you may notice on this letter, it says mailed from zip code. So now I want to look up where 38101 comes from because I know the person texting me is from New Brunswick, but the person that sent me the letter is from Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Bring it up. It says jackpot. <laughs> I feel like it's such like a corny ass card. Is it handwritten? Holy. Oh, it's not even handwritten. It is from Jessica. Holy shit. It actually says love Jessica. Damn. Just the thought of you sends butterflies fluttering inside my belly. Don't say belly. Now I picture you as like 4,000 pounds. You bring so much sweetness and depth into my life. I feel so lucky to have you. You're my ideal in every way. From your stunning looks. So thank you. Jessica, you literally don't even know what I look like. To your brilliant mind. You challenged me to be my best self. And I am so thankful for that. I don't know what I thought about before we met. Because you are all I can think about now. Oh shoot, she's dropping some good ass slick lines. I hope I can always call your heart mine and treat it with the love and respect that it deserves. Love Jessica. First off, thanks Jessica if you're watching from New Brunswick. Secondly, Jessica, if uh, if you're watching from Tennessee. This isn't handwritten. You just used a handwritten font. You guys can't see this and to you it probably looks handwritten. But that is just printed font. There you guys have it. I wanna show you guys what I'm working on. This is like a Wonder Woman comic book piece. I want to story about a bunch of comic books, glued them to the back here, spray painted a stencil of what Wonder Woman's gonna potentially look like right there. If you guys wanna see the final product of that, I'm trying to get it on Instagram, maybe by next week if I can. Anyways guys, this was just a quick video. I don't know how to express this to you guys, but I've been looking for days, 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 weeks, months for a place to live in both San Diego and Los Angeles, and it is not easy. I just, I just don't know which areas of Los Angeles are good, safe, good for Charlie, because Oh my god, I just caught him in the act. He's trying to get that damn rocket. I've told him, you guys have known, I've told him a hundred times it's not a toy. He knows I'm filming. I bought that at a craft show. Where are you going? Oh no, no, I'm chilling here. I'm not doing anything bad. <laughs> Needless to say, it's super stressful trying to find a new place to live. So if you live in the Los Angeles area or even in California and you know a good place that's safe, good place for dogs, let me know because it would help me out a huge amount, a ton. <laughs> It'll help me out a lot, okay? Anyways, guys, this is just a quick video. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Please keep subscribing and telling your friends to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. It all helps me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. See you guys later.